Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Wednesday the 31st of January. The opposition leaders casting doubt on claims police recruitment problems was a shock to the government. Police Minister Mark Mitchell has clarified to the House today they still have a two-year target for recruiting another 500 officers. He yesterday said that had been extended to three years. Labour's Chris Hipkins says it's just a mess. Given Mark Mitchell spent six years in opposition criticising the previous government for those very challenges, I think it's somewhat surprising that he's now trying to claim he's only just learned about them. The government's buying five million more COVID tests so the public can still get them for free from health providers and some pharmacies. Health Minister Shane Deretti says the bulk of current stock expires late March and the shipment will keep us going through June. Deretti says hundreds are still being hospitalised with COVID but the summer peak may be over. If that's the case we'll catch our breath. Uh, less people in hospital is a good thing. We can start to you know, spend more time on waiting lists and the other things that we need to apply ourselves to. A person's been flown to hospital in a critical condition after a crash between a vehicle and a pedestrian in Southland's Winton. Police say part of State Highway 6 will be closed for some time. The outgoing Green Party co-leader James Shaw doesn't think Marama Davidson will follow him out the door. Shaw will step down in March but stay on as an MP to support his sustainable environment bill. Yesterday, Davidson wouldn't confirm whether she'll stay in the job before year's end, but Shaw says otherwise. My understanding is that she wants to lead the Green Party into the 2026 election. New Zealand's become the world's third least corrupt country. It's down six points from 2015. That's according to the 2023 Corruption Perception Index, which finds Denmark is still the least corrupt nation. We were, were second equal with Finland last year, but slipped two points. Transparency International NZ Chair Anne Tolley puts it down to a lack of business confidence around Crown spending. There's an opportunity for the incoming government now to make sure with their big projected infrastructure spend that both the procurement and the delivery of those contracts is there's a bit more rigour around that. Antarctic scientists say they're on the cusp of uncovering historic climate secrets. A team of researchers has drilled more than 500 metres deep into Antarctic ice to gather samples showing the state of the ice shelf hundreds of years ago. GNS scientist Richard Levy says looking back into the ice shelf to see material laid down in pre-industrial times has given crucial insight. It's almost like opening a history book looking back to find clues as to what has happened in Earth's past and what could potentially happen in Earth's future. In sporting headlines, the Phoenix men are unfazed by the prospect of facing Marco Rojas in Brisbane on Friday after the All-Whites forward signed with the Raw for the remainder of the A-League football season. A second stint as Hurricanes captain is incoming for Super Rugby returnee Brad Shields after he was named to claim the role from Adi Savia, who's on a playing sabbatical in Japan. And English Ryder Cup player Terrell Hatton has become the latest big name to defect to the Live Golf League on a deal reportedly worth north of $100 million. I'm Raylene Ramsey and that is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.